okay so in the in the previous you know truth table of this encoder you know we 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 actually have a problem okay and we need to fix that problem if we have to make this uh, encoder meaningful okay so essentially uh, you know let us just look at the truth table once more carefully a not okay my priority encoder okay right and my outputs right um, i think i call this j0 sorry j3 j2 j1 j0 and my power this thing was basically you know y sorry y1 and y0 okay so we said 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 and 0 I'll just write this out right so we said that you know when when the um, lower bits are alone on yeah there is no problem you just indicate which of those so if it is j0 then we wanted this output to be 00 uh, j1 is on then obviously you wanted this to go to 1 right in um, and the priority gets you know goes to j1 from here on it goes to j2 so 1010 1010 10, right and from here on it simply goes to j3 and in the previous case we had said that in for this case we would just make the outputs as 0 0 right but the problem is this does not tell you if j0 actually is on or is the is it the case that none of the inputs are active right uh, therefore these two cases you cannot tell the difference okay 0 0 and this thing so therefore you need an other bit to indicate if the input is valid or not that is at least one of the outputs must be a uh, one of the inputs must be a one only then that is even a valid input right and therefore i will first indicate that the case when all inputs are zero j0 to j3 are zero that the valid bit itself is zero okay only all the other cases i will make one like this and the behavior of the circuit is the output of y1 and y0 should be considered only if the valid bit happens to be one right otherwise do not even consider that particular uh, output of the encoder this is what we are going to say and therefore in this case i would say i don't care what the output is because we are going to ignore the outputs right and this could technically help in our truth table simplification as well okay so first of all i need you know our encoder now has become j j3 j2 j1 j0 right and i have three outputs y1 y0 and an output this thing okay 
so this is 4 is to 2 uh, priority encoder encoder right so now our truth table design will change because I have the earlier case right where I had um, you know um, 0 0 and stuff like that that will now become a little different and hopefully it, the, the design will simplify a little bit. So let us look at this I am going to now consider J1 J0 Okay, and this is J3, J2. So, J3, J2 bar, J3 bar, J2, J3, J2 bar. Okay, J1 bar, J0 bar, bar, J0, J1, J0, J1, J0 bar. 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 7, 6, 8, 9, 11, 10, 12, 13, 15, 14. Okay, as usual, I make a copy of this. Okay. And uh, let me just put it here. Okay, this is for y1 and y2 okay so y1 is you know essentially for uh, 0 0 case I am going to say it's a don't care okay so this is for y1 y0 and 0 0 case don't care right and uh, every other input is valid and therefore I can go ahead and do this thing. So y, uh, what is this y1, right? y1 is essentially uh, simply min terms 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 onwards everything is high, right? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah, okay, I mean 8 the other way, right? And y0, you have uh, 0, 1, 2 and 3, 2 and 3 are 1, okay, and then 4, uh, 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, all the way down, everything is 1, right, you have this kind of an implementation. And therefore, y1 will simply be, uh, you know, I can group 8 bits like this, 8 bits like this, and uh, I could do this or I could make that a 0, right? So, let us see what we get in both cases. Um, so, if I did this, this would simply be j3 or uh, other case j2 okay and if i choose the don't care to be zero right then it doesn't matter at all right i, I could choose the don't care to be zero in this case right i could make this don't care as a zero right then it would simply be just sorry uh, yeah it would simply be these two terms y0 would just be uh, you know as usual it would just be these eight terms which is basically going to give you uh, 
this one and this one j3 plus here you are going to have uh, j1 and j2 bar okay and finally your valid bit okay if you look at the valid bit it's essentially a huge or gate right if any input is one then it's a valid this thing and therefore v will simply be j j1 or j j sorry j0 j1 j2 all the way to j7 right so y0 will be j1 uh, j3 plus j1 j2 bar and of course uh, nothing changes as in the earlier case it was best to put our don't care condition here also as a zero because we didn't want that additional min term to actually come into the picture there right so therefore you make uh, both of them and the y0 y1 implementation remains more or less the same it's only the valid implementation that is going to change and therefore you get a uh, an extra output right and uh, effectively you can basically um, you know have your implementation look like this j3 j2 j1 j0 j0 uh, this is going to be just right this is y1 y0 you need j2 bar so this i will have to generate okay so this is j and again you are going to or it with this why not and um, right so what you have now done is oh there's no j7 sorry this is just 4 bit right so it is just j2 plus j3 so this again can be simplified because uh, j2 plus j3 so i can write this as j0 plus j1 plus uh, y1 right so i can actually take this here and just add another three input xor if i wish here i mean three input or gate and get the output out accordingly this is my valid bit if i want right so with that we have been able to finish and uh, you know this discussion on encoders right the starting from the encoder we went to the priority encoder and also fix the issue that we saw with the valid uh, invalid input case as well thank you